teamwork, collaboration, keep going. Everything's going to be okay. You are well on your way. Use your powers. Push forward. Keep going. Don't stop. The Ten of Pentacles is on the way. Everything is going to change with the world card. The future is right in front of you. Three of Wands, prepare. Prepare, prepare. The ships are coming in. Prepare. Get ready. It's happening. We are leading you towards happiness, success, and vitality. Don't be tempted by the prosperity. Don't let your ego lead your life. Let your spiritual journey lead your life. And they're going to point you to happiness, success, and vitality, Taurus. Hey, Taurus. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Yay! All right. How's everybody doing? How's it rolling? How's it shaking? I hope everybody is um, manifesting and prospering, and I wish everybody a healthy, prosperous, peaceful New Year. So, you guys, it's been a minute. Welcome back to the channel. Things have been cooking a little bit, you know, with the whole Venus in retrograde thing, Venus being Taurus's planet, right? And I am a Taurus. I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. Therefore, I have a vested interest. <laughs> I look forward to this just like you guys do. I do this about every six weeks. So if you like what you're about to hear, you might want to hit the subscribe button because I'm not here very often. So snuggle up, get a blanket, sit down, put your feet up, get you something to drink, something to smoke, something to eat, put your earbuds in, kick back, and let's throw down an amazing reading for you. All right, Taurus, let's throw down some cards for you, yeah? Let's throw down. I feel, I feel something cooking. Let's just see what these cards have to say for the sign of Taurus. Taurus. Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus rising, Taurus in Vedic astrology, Taurus third rock from the sun, wherever Taurus may be in your chart. That is the aspect or the house of your life that will be affected. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I'm clarifying. And I'm going to sew together a story. All right. If the clarification process gets too lengthy or too in-depth, I will fast forward that section. Okay. Usually I'm on camera. I apologize for that, but um, it's either this or nothing. So I figured this would probably be okay. All right, you guys, let's dive into this. Let's get into this whole thing right here. All right. All right. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves? What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And more importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their best and highest good? Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is that these cards are going to say. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, what do you want to say for Taurus? All right. All right, guys, let's cut these cards and see what we get. Let's go. Not, that was that was human error right there, right? That's that's not cool. All right, let's try again. Let's go. Got to wait for that pull, right? At least I do, right? Okay, oh, look, I'm going with it. So one, two, three. It happened again, and I'm taking it. So let's see what we got here. Three of Wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck. This is delays, waiting, um... Obstacles to the long-term goals. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration. That's two threes. Three of Wands in reverse and three of Pentacles. Three is about teamwork and collaboration. Hence the three of Pentacles. The nine of Wands. Um, resilience, persistence, pushing through, being strong, spiritual strength. The four of Swords. Contemplation, some kind of plan, some kind of, of, of battle. Mental, air energy, right? 
Three of Cups, victory, celebration, joy, rejoicing, reuniting, meeting someone, the world in reverse, um, a blockage, a blockage to the closure of some kind of cycle. The Eight of Wands in reverse, um, delays, stalling, not taking any action. Six of Cups, family, home, nostalgia, memories, reuniting, reconciling, and the past. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse in the center of the reading. This is loss. It's loss. It's financial loss. It's possibly a loss of an identity. The sun in reverse, maybe what you're not seeing clearly or possibly just a reflection of this loss right here. The princess of wands in reverse, um, frustrations, delays, uh, setbacks, a lack of direction. The empress, there you are, Venus. The queen of swords, hmm, could be another person, could be the action, the mental action of this empress. The ace of wands in reverse, frustrated. The hermit. Soul searching, introspection, the devil, some kind of toxic attachment of some sort. The two of pentacles, prioritization. The seven of pentacles, uh, reflecting, assessing. The nine of pentacles in reverse, a waste of time in reverse. A waste of time or, uh, or um, financial setbacks to the lovers, right? This is alignment of some sort, uh, a, a significant kind of alignment. Judgment, another significant kind of decision for some kind of alignment. Lovers being some kind of significant relationship. The fool in reverse, foolish. The Princess of Pentacles in reverse, an inability to manifest or immediate short-term focus. Prince of Wands in reverse, frustrations and delays. The Star, the Ace of Swords, your lack of clarity. The Chariot, perhaps in the direction you need to go. Four of Wands in reverse, either a transition or some kind of um, disharmony or dissatisfaction. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, expectations possibly. The Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. Okay, see, now we're repeating all over the place. Nine of Swords in reverse is the anxiety. The Moon is the subconscious struggle. Ten of Swords, inevitable endings possibly, or re re renewal. The King of Swords, something, truth-wise. Prince of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in reverse, right? Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups. What is happening here? You know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop where it started to repeat. Right? Yeah. I'm going to stop right there. Okay. We're going to stop at the Six of Wands. I suppose I could scoot this all over for y'all. I suppose I could do that. Let's see. Let's just see. All right. Now, for you OCD people out there, um, I am not OCD. As a matter of fact, I'm a little messy. So, you know, you just got to kind of handle that. Okay, look, I'm going to leave this one like that on purpose just for you guys. No, I'm kidding. That would drive me crazy. I couldn't do that. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what this is all about right here. So the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration, first card out sets the tone for my whole spread. Okay, so teamwork, collaboration, coming together, possibly contracts of some sort. Nine of Wands, resilience, persistence, fighting through. Perhaps you need money of some sort. Interesting. Um, the Nine of Wands, um, pushing through, being resilient, persistent. Four of Swords, trying to figure it out. But maybe trying to... Uh, Maybe try to do it with the wrong people. Let's see what this is about. So we had the three on the bottom, right? Then we had the three of pentacles and we have the three of cups in the same row. So there is something significant, significant about initial achievement, growth, expression, communication, friendship, negotiations. All right. Spirit, tell me about this three of pentacles right here. Why is this setting the tone for the reading? Okay. Three of Swords in reverse. Forgiveness, understanding, acceptance, healing. The Empress, 
I'm assuming that you will see to the Ten of Pentacles, uh, success, security, foundation, money in the bank. All right, money in the bank, Nine of Wands, fighting for it, fighting for it. To the Four of Swords, fighting for it. To the Two of Wands, because I think you can see what the future is going to bring. The Four of Swords, contemplation. See, this guy's already been through three battles because the Three of Swords is heartbreak and grief and sorrow, right? And so those three swords right there would be the card before it. Heartbreak, grief, sorrow, escalating into the Four of Swords, which is now giving thanks that he's learned what it is that he's learned from the Three of Swords and he still has some get up and go left in him with the Four of Swords. Four is also the number of stability and structure. So what he's doing there is collecting his thoughts, right? He's collecting his thoughts and he's preparing to push forward after learning what it is that he needed to learn in the Three of Swords. Understand? Okay. So this represents some kind of planning of some sort. So tell me about the Four of Swords then. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords, please. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Five of Cups in reverse, right? Moving on from some kind of loss, regret, despair, or disappointment. Sometimes it's bereavement. Moving on from it. Okay. So the Nine of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Five of Cups in reverse. Contemplation, pushing forward, contemplation, moving on from some kind of disappointment. Three of Cups. Let's, I'm going to look at these. I'm not going to keep these cards, but I'm going to look at them. See the Three of Cups. Um, to the Six of Pentacles, Strength in Reverse, and the Chariot in Reverse. Okay, that just gives me context, but I wasn't ready for them, so I'm putting it back in the deck. Um, the Three of Cups, Celebration, Rejoicing, again, a Three Three of Cups talking about friendship, creativity, Five of Wands in reverse. Hmm. No, I'm sorry. That's the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands in reverse. Overwhelmed. Giving up. Overly protective. Protecting yourself. Look at that. To the Star in reverse. Not purposeful. Okay, so this is some kind of union here. It's some kind of union that has to do with that Three of Pentacles. And then temperance in reverse to the world in reverse. Blockage. Unable to change cycles. Shortcuts. Delays. Delays in some kind of closure because there is an imbalance inside of you. Hmm. Give me one on this temperance card, please. Let me have one on this temperance card, please. We have one on this temperance card. All right, I got a bunch here. Let's see what we got. Well, there's that six of pentacles that I picked up earlier and strength in reverse. Look at that. Such a silly woman I am. To the chariot in reverse, right? I put those cards right back in the deck. All three of those, you saw me. I put them all three back in the deck because I thought, oh, well, I wasn't focusing and it was just fumbly fingers, but apparently it wasn't. Apparently it's important for it to be said here. So temperance in reverse and imbalance um, being, let's just, uh, let me just read the definition exactly for you so we understand, okay? Imbalance, excess, gluttony perhaps, self-healing, a need for self-healing and a realignment, okay? So there's a blockage, there's a need for self-healing or a realignment. Six of Pentacles, to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life to strength in reverse, but there is a weakness. There's a weakness to the chariot in reverse, which is causing things to not go the direction that they're supposed to go. And then the Knight of Swords talks about some kind of communication. Tell me about this communication. Tell me about this communication. Remember, Taurus, the only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. General YouTube readings are not going to give you the wisdom and the guidance that you're seeking. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? This is what is going down. 
All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me get myself together here. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration of some sort. Okay. You're working hard on something and you're probably working on it with other people. Okay. The Nine of Wands says, keep doing that. Persistence, resilience, pushing forward. Keep working on what it is that you're working on. Okay. To the Three of Swords in reverse. This card is about grief, pain, sorrow, the forgiveness of, right? Healing, acceptance, understanding. What this card says to me is that everything is going to be okay. There's going to be some healing to some kind of grief that you're having. You just keep pushing forward and you just keep working on what it is that you're working on. The Empress. This is you being fat and happy, right? All the bills paid little extra money, food in the fridge, full belly, right? This is you, good. Tickets to Vegas next week. I mean, you're doing great right here. You're just comfortable and you're successful. Keep working on what you're working on because that is where you are headed. And the Ten of Pentacles. You are headed into the Empress energy. The Empress is the third lesson of the Major Arcana for a reason. Lesson number one is manifestation. Where your thoughts go, your reality follows, and you have the capacity to create any kind of reality that you want in your life, depending upon where your thoughts go and if you have the self-control to control the direction of your thoughts. You can create any reality that you want to. Lesson number two is the High Priestess. The high priestess is your intuition. It's your gut instinct. It's your higher power pointing you in the direction that you're supposed to go. Lesson number three is the empress. The empress wraps her mind around both of those concepts. She pulls them into herself and she builds a foundation at her feet by which to stand upon her power of manifestation and her ability to follow her intuition. That leads her to exactly where it is that she needs to go. And that's where you're headed. Whatever it is that you're doing right now is supposed to be, okay? Ten of Pentacles. It's going to pad your pockets. It's going to buy you nice things. It's going to give you money to help other people. It's going to provide a lifestyle for you that is quite comfortable. The world. Everything is about to change. Whatever you have been working on is about to change in a big way in the direction of prosperity and the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. There's about to be a cycle change and what you've been working so hard on is about to pop, right? Business, relationship, school, degree, education, um, putting your motorcycle together, I don't know, a race, Whatever your thing is, whatever you've been working at and practicing and doing and doing and doing is about to turn over for you. Nine of Wands says, keep pushing at it. Keep doing it. Two of Wands, look into the future, right? I mean, this guy has laser focus into the future. Keep looking towards the future. The Three of Wands, prepare. Get ready. It's another three, right? We had three on the bottom of the deck. We have the three of pentacles. We have the three of wands. Get ready. There's achievement. There's growth ahead of you. There's partnerships and alliances. Get ready. There is something huge coming towards you. Four of swords. But you have to contemplate something. You have to contemplate something. You have to defend yourself in a way, in your mind, against something. See the three of swords hanging on the wall behind him? The three swords right there? That's where he came from because he's now the four of swords. He came from the three of swords, grief and sorrow and pain, right? And he's preparing himself for his next battle. And he's getting stable in his mind with the number four. He's preparing. What should you prepare yourself for? The five of cups in reverse. To move on from something that could potentially bring you a lot of regret. What is that? It's the three of cups. It's some kind of union with someone or something else. Queen of swords in reverse. This is an illogical person. It's an illogical move. 
And that's what these cards are saying. You're doing great. Push forward. Keep going. Walk away from. Avoid some regret. Be sharp in your mind because there's some kind of reunion or some kind of getting together or joining forces with another entity of some sort. Queen of Swords in reverse. That is not a good decision. It's not a good decision. Three of Cups again. Threes everywhere. Three of Cups, celebration, rejoicing, coming together with these same people or this same person right here, right? Going off course or, or trying to join forces. I think you're trying to join forces because there's some kind of financial gain. Whether y'all are looking to move in together because it would be financial gain, obviously, splitting all the bills, right? At least that's how it should be. Um, there's some kind of financial gain for you and you're working very hard towards it, but there's some kind of third party interference that is threatening to take you off track. And what they're doing is dangling some kind of security, prosperity, or just straight out money in front of your face. Okay. And there's some emotions involved here. Somehow, some way, there's some kind of feelings involved, warm, fuzzy feelings. Perhaps it's someone from your past, right? That is uh, poking their head in, right? You're doing great, doing good, trucking right along. And then somebody from the past is like, hey, I'm in town. You want to go have a drink? And before you know it, they need a place to stay in the ruin in your life. But no, but it could be anything, right? Bad decision. Seven of Wands in reverse. Protect yourself. The star in reverse. It's not purposeful. It's, it's disconnected from the direction that a universal intelligence is trying to point you. They're diverting you from going in this direction because it's not orchestrated. It's not divinely orchestrated. It is unpurposeful in your life. As a matter of fact, it's a blockage with the world in reverse, an utter and complete blockage. The world over here says, keep trucking, Taurus. You're almost to the finish line. What you've been working for is about to pay off hugely. And then along comes somebody poking their head in and taking you off track or distracting you somehow, some way. And it's unpurposeful. It's a blockage in your life temperance in reverse there's an imbalance inside of you what's the imbalance the six of pentacles see they're 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 dangling some kind of prosperity in front of you they are some kind of security right we're talking about earth energy we're talking about pentacles or coins here this is what makes you particularly taurus feel secure in life is the warm fuzzy giving and receiving and sharing of prosperity and somehow, some way, they're dangling some kind of prosperity in front of you. But this card indicates that this other entity might have some kind of leverage or upper hand somehow, some way in the situation. Strength in reverse says this is weak. This is your weakness because this is what you're looking at. You're doing great over here, but then this comes along and it's like, oh, piece of candy. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's better. And that's a weakness to the chariot in reverse that is going to stand in your way of you achieving success. Knight of Swords, some communication coming into you about doing business, about getting together, about hanging out. Um, maybe it's an ex-boyfriend, an ex-girlfriend. You're going great. You're doing good, fixing a move in together. And then so-and-so shows up. Right? Ace of Pentacles in reverse says it's going to screw everything up. It's going to screw everything up. Could be a business deal. Right? On your own. Maybe struggling a little bit right now. Right? And, and, and just, you know, maybe, maybe in a crunch. But what these cards are saying is keep going because success is right around the corner. And maybe this crunch over here is the reason either you're seeking out or perhaps just in casual conversation, somebody's like, hey, let's be partners, right? And, and Spirit says, no, bueno, no, bueno, no good, 
No good. Don't do it. Eight of Wands in reverse. Don't do it. Hold off. Don't take any action. Three of Pentacles in reverse. It's uh, it's and it goes that three of Pentacles in reverse goes back to the Six of Pentacles where I said somebody has more leverage. The Three of Pentacles in reverse is about somebody not having um, respect or regard for what somebody else is bringing to the table, right? Maybe you're going to get railroaded, or maybe this person does have some kind of leverage because they give you money for your business or they're paying for your house or your living space or something like that. But nevertheless, Six of Swords in Reverse says you're going to be stuck if you do this. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck. Six of Cups, family, home, nostalgia, memories, the Ace of Cups, Feelings, love, new beginnings in love, the Eight of Wands, movement, action, change, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, a change in the money, a change in the finances, to the King of Swords in reverse because somebody is um, dishonest. Six of Swords in reverse, somebody has a lot of baggage that they're not telling you about, to the Hermit in reverse. This is advice to withdraw your energy from this situation. Okay, so could this be someone from your past? Yeah, could it be an ex wanting to reunite and reconcile? Absolutely, for sure. Could it be a, a former employer or a, a a a cousin from you know ages ago that you guys meet? You met at you know Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, and you started talking business, and boom, here they are wanting to get involved in what you got going on up over here. These cards say that's a bad idea. They say stay on your own and keep going. Six of Cups. Could it be someone wanting to reconcile somehow, some way? Sure. Um, Ace of Cups. There are feelings involved, right? Definitely feelings involved. Somehow, some way. Eight of Wands. Communication, action, movement, change is what the communication is about. Perhaps the communication is about your home. Maybe you have a lot of feelings invested. You guys are building a home, right? And you're trucking right along. And then uh, a contractor completely and totally screws up. And everybody else is all screwed up. And you're losing a lot of money, right? But nevertheless, if this was your reading, I could tell you, right? This is a general reading. The tarot is not meant to be read to an auditorium full of people. It's a very personal one-on-one -on -one divination tool. So it's almost impossible for me to be um, detailed and, and specific in this kind of reading. It's very frustrating, actually. But nevertheless, if you want to know what's going on in your life, get your own cards read, okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There is loss here. King of Swords in reverse. There is a maniacal, tyrannical, um, possibly abusive person who is dishonest in your midst midst six of swords in reverse again stuck can't move on the hermit in reverse detach withdraw yourself from the situation two of pentacles in reverse prioritization no i'm sorry what was in the center of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? Because these, these go under it because I asked what it was about, right? So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading, this is loss. It's loss of finances. It's loss of money. It's loss of, it's, it's financial failure, loneliness, and loss, okay? That's what's in the center of the reading. What is the root of this? Well, prioritizing in the realm of money, some sort, some way, some kind of security, prioritizing some kind of inspired action that perhaps hasn't been thought through all the way because you think it's going to bring you more happiness than you have now to the Knight of Cups in reverse. But um, it's unrealistic to invest your feelings in this area. Hermit in reverse, again, withdraw. The sun in reverse. What you're not seeing clearly is the princess of wands in reverse. What you're not seeing clearly is that this is setbacks to your to what it is you're achieving over here. It's setbacks to the ten of cups and the empress. What you're trying to achieve over here. I mean, you have the empress and the ten of pentacles up here. You have the empress and the ten of cups up here, right? This shit's good right here. 
and then somebody comes along and wants to get involved in it somehow, some way, and it all will go in the shitter if you do. Straight up. It'll all go in the shitter if you do. There you are as the Empress yet again, Taurus. Yet again. You being in your power, using your power of manifestation to, to manifest yourself past whatever need this is that this person, that you think that this person can supply for you. Using your intuition to follow through to the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is the Empress's intellect. And what this is saying is use sharp intellect, Taurus, sharp intellect, reasoning, logic, truth. Use the power of your mind, Taurus. Use the power of your mind. The King of Wands. King of Wands is talking about your success. You. This is the object of your desire, the King of Wands. This is you wanting success. And I want to point out that the King of Wands is rooted in the ego, okay? Because it's a fire energy. So what this is saying right here is don't let your ego get in the way. When this person starts dangling pentacles in front of your face, don't let your ego get in your way. Depend on your power as the Empress to manifest, control your thoughts, and follow your intuition. That's what the Queen of Swords right there is to remind you of. Okay? Eight of Swords. Don't be all tied up in your head about this. Page of Cups in reverse. This is a creative block. It's not, it's not easy. It's not flowing right because it's not supposed to be. The Tower. It will happen in this situation. I mean, for God's sakes, you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading. The tower will come about if you engage in this situation and everything that you have worked for, you will flush down the toilet to strength. Be strong. Be strong. Don't be weak. Strength was in reverse up here. Don't be weak. Be strong. And understand and know what's coming towards you what you need to look out for and how you navigate the coming situations and circumstances of your life for your best and highest good. That's what I prayed for in this reading. And that's what they're telling you right now. Seven of swords. There is betrayal and deception here. Four of swords in reverse. That's going to be a lack of progress. Six of cups in reverse. It's unrealistic to try to reconcile any of your differences to the Princess of Wands in reverse, and it is obstacles in your way. Ace of Wands in reverse sucks the life right out of you. What's your advice? Well, the Hermit, of course, the Hermit, Taurus. It is time to do some soul searching and some introspection. It is really, really time for you to stop being disconnected from what you know is tempting you, okay? It's time to sit with your higher power, whatever you've chosen to name it, sit down with it and talk things out. Talk it out and they will illuminate for you the next step that you should take. They will. Just like I'm talking to you, sit down and have a talk with your higher power. Talk with the universe, walk with the universe, go someplace quiet, go for a drive. But it's time to talk about this. Why is it time to talk about this? Well, because you're fixing to make a bad mistake. You're fixing to relent to the ego and not continue on the journey that Spirit says is supposed to be your journey. You're on a journey, and it's been a struggle, and it's been a fight for a long time. But everything that you have worked towards is about to pop off, Taurus. It's 
it's about to pop off in a big, big way. And then this person, this thing, this entity comes in and says, hey, let's get together. In some form or fashion, some way, somehow, let's get together. Let's join forces. Let's merge. Let's get together somehow, some way. And spirit just starts up with star in reverse and says, bad decision, not purposeful for your life. The world in reverse, a blockage, temperance in reverse, the ace of pentacles in reverse, the chariot in reverse, strength in reverse. Why? Because somebody's dangling prosperity of some kind in your face. Something that you think is better or easier than what you have now. That's the devil. Is this person the devil? I don't think so. I think they're just a squirrel trying to get a nut somehow, some way. You got something that they want and they're trying to get it from you. I think the devil represents the struggle of the ego because you're here as the empress three times and there's threes all over this reading. It's about achievement of some sort. And the achievement that you're after needs to be had from this next step in your spiritual journey. And you can't succumb to the ego when this person dangles prosperity in front of you. That's why your advice is to go to the hermit, right? Right? Go into the hermit energy and commune with spirit so you can be fortified and strong. Go to church if that's your thing. But definitely sit down and pray out loud and ask them to intervene in your life so your life can be pointed in the direction of your destiny and not in the direction of a gigantic stumbling block. Death in reverse. Personal transformation. A massive personal transformation. So you can step in to your power as the Empress and really use your mind and your guts to point you in the direction of success. It's right around the corner, Taurus. Seven of Pentacles, reflect and assess. Think about this. To the sun, we are trying to lead you towards happiness, success, and vitality. What do you get if you succumb to the ego is the Five of Pentacles. You get nothing. That Ten of Pentacles flips upside down because that Ten of Pentacles is spirit divinely orchestrating your path and if you choose in your ego to go in a different direction with your free will spirit has no choice but to throw on the brakes and come to a screeching halt and allow you to administer your free will in your life and you are going to circumvent what's coming at you like a freight train if you engage in whatever this is for you Five of Pentacles, financial poverty. The Ace of Pentacles, they're promising some kind of money. Five of Pentacles in reverse there. This money that, or this prosperity or this security is might bring you out of a sticky financial situation at the moment. But the person you're dealing with is dishonest. The person, the people, the entity that you're dealing with is going to misuse their power over you. They're going to manipulate you and they are going to be tyrannical. To the Ten of Swords. And they're going to cause you a lot of pain. And they're going to take away your tens. They are. This person, this entity, this situation has the potential to completely destroy your life, Taurus. Completely destroy your life. Look, Taurus. Teamwork, collaboration, keep going. Everything's going to be okay. You are well on your way. Use your powers. Push forward. Keep going. Don't stop. The Ten of Pentacles is on the way. Everything is going to change with the world card. The future is right in front of you. Three of Wands, prepare. Prepare, prepare. The ships are coming in. Prepare. Get ready. It's happening. We are leading you towards happiness, success, and vitality. 
Don't be tempted by the prosperity. Don't let your ego lead your life. Let your spiritual journey lead your life. And they are going to point you to happiness, success, and vitality, Taurus. That's what they're saying. Two of Pentacles. Here, we'll do it in the middle here. Two of Pentacles. Prioritization. Seven of Pentacles. Planning. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. A waste of time. Lovers and alignment. Two of Cups. Talking about a partnership. Two of Pentacles. Prioritization. Money. Judgment. A decision. The fool in reverse. Foolish. What is this saying? Well, it's saying that if you prioritize this temptation that's going to be dangled in front of you, if you prioritize it, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is reflecting. If, if you entertain this prosperity, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, again, you will find yourself in a financial setback. Also, Nine of Pentacles in reverse is about a waste of time. Lovers, some kind of significant relationship. Two of Cups, some kind of unified partnership. Two of Pentacles, if you prioritize this judgment, if you make a decision in this direction, Spirit has no choice but to step away. Do they abandon you? Of course not. But they have to stop the orchestration that's happening in your life because your free will is choosing a different direction. You can't choose your ego. You can't live in the ego and expect spiritual blessings. It just doesn't work like that. That's the, those are the only two choices that we have. That's what this life is about. Those two choices. Where is your allegiance going to lie? Are you going to follow the ego, which is represented by the devil card? Or are you going to follow spirit, which is represented by the high priestess? Those are the two choices. That is why you're alive on this planet. And if you choose the ego, you will live an ego flesh driven life. And you will always, always, inevitably, every single time end in the tower. Every time we don't know what we're doing that's why we have our guts and our intuition if you choose the spiritual aspect if your allegiance is to your spiritual journey spirit will lead you constantly to your best and highest good they will constantly point you in the direction of of vitality and prosperity peace and harmony in all ways but you have to choose with your free will what side of the road you're going to live on. And the fool in reverse says, if you choose this, you are a fool. Straight up. You're a fool. Four of Swords. Think about it carefully. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It, 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 it's going to... This is a card about lacking ambition or focus. It's going to it's going to steal from you somehow, some way. Ten of Wands, it's going to be a burden. Princess of Pentacles in reverse, an inability to manifest. Prince of Wands in reverse. Frustrations and delays in what? In the direction that is purposeful for your life. The star in the upright, Aquarius, the star in the upright, is a card about an understanding that there is a universal intelligence that knows the end game that we don't. And that if we allow them to move in our life, they will show us the way. And that's what they're saying right there. Two, no less, I kid you not, the High Priestess. Spirit, is trying so hard to tell you to keep pushing. Don't engage in this. Ignore it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Because that's where you're supposed to be. Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse is a stupid decision. <laughs> For real though. Queen of Swords in reverse has no sense whatsoever. 
See the six of wands. Victory, progress, and success. See, what this is saying is that nonsensical decisions, no sense. Six of wands is rooted in the ego, right? It's fire energy. It's rooted in the ego. The victory, the progress, the success that you think you're going to have is an illogical decision. Ace of Swords in reverse. This is a lack of clarity. You're not seeing what the star sees. And the intuition, the high priestess is trying to push you in the direction that you should go. But you're ignoring things all over the place. Chariot. Let us take you to where you need to be. Keep pushing. Roll on past. Do not stop. Go, go, go. You're almost there, Taurus. The only thing that this is going to bring you is anxiety and despair and obstacles to your long-term goals. It's going to bring you a lack of peace and harmony in your life. It's going to steal your ambition and your focus. The Six of Wands. Victory, progress, and success. This is where spirit will lead you. This is a spiritual victory, progress, and success. How do I know that? Because it's clarified by the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. This is Taurus, and I guarantee you this would be an Empress right here if we hadn't used them all in the decks that I'm using. I used three decks in this spread, and all three Empresses are on the, are on the table. The Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Cups. This is you. Seated in your power, grounded as all get out, all of your needs met, meeting the needs of everyone around you in your glory to the Queen of Cups in a place of emotional control, stability, and balance, in a place of honesty and fairness in your emotions, emotional control, emotional zen. This is the Empress. I mean, think about it, really. She is the culmination of all four queens. You have the Queen of Swords in here. The only thing you're missing is the Queen of Fire, but you have the King of Wands over here. Interesting. This is the side of the Empress that is practical and secure. This is the side of the Empress that is completely and totally in emotional Zen. That's where Spirit's trying to lead you. Don't let this get in your way. Whatever this is, don't let this get in your way. It's detrimental to your future and it's detrimental, uh, quite honestly, to your destiny. Spirit, is there anything you want to leave Taurus with right here? What are your closing words, Spirit? What's the mic drop here for Taurus? Ha, huh, I can't make this up, right? Intuition. Wow. 22. Intuition. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Let's read it. Let's read 22. Intuition. This card encourages you to trust your inner guidance and to embrace the intuitive wisdom that resides within your soul. By drawing this card, you're being urged to honor your sensitivity at all times and to prioritize your premonitions and hunches above practicality and logic. This isn't a time to be influenced by others' opinions or to betray your inner guidance. In order to fit in, instead, you must trust your intuition for it will never let you down. You are now being encouraged to spend quiet time alone, the hermit. Nature and the outdoors will enhance your connection to source and align your soul with Mother Earth. Likewise, regular prayer, meditation, listening to beautiful music, mindful breathing, and exercises will enhance your intuition and help develop your clairvoyant, clear audience, clear essence, and clear cognizant abilities. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to trust your inner guidance. When you're indecisive and unsure, always go within the high priestess, for your intuition knows the path that serves your greater good. When you trust in yourself and and when you trust in yourself and your connection to the divine, you will synchronistically be led to where you need to be. Beautiful, Taurus. Beautiful.
Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for that information. Wow. All right, you guys. Well, that was your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. There's links all over the place. And uh, namaste.